as you can see for those of you who know that well know the movie I'm watching Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon first time I watched it I watched it in its original language. No subtitles. I watched it again after that. With subtitles. And then in English. So I did that, even though I watched it three times, the first time I watched it, I understood the object of desire for everyone, every one of the characters. Uh, Lee Mubai. The lady he cared for, uh, the young princess, the thief in the desert, even uh, the the lady playing as uh, what was it, Jade Fox? All of them had one object of desire, and it was never the sword. For the, the young princess, that sword was a symbol of her desire. For Li Mubai, quitting the order and retiring, even without avenging his master's death, it was a means to attain his desire. For the woman he cared about, she had that same desire. Uh, Jade Fox uh, going on about the uh, stoic-ish um, ways that the the martial arts and spiritual masters said that they would never teach a woman. They all desired the exact same thing: freedom. They were each, each one of them in a life that oppressed their freedom to choose how they lived their life. And for the young princess, the sword was an object of power through which she believed she could attain that freedom. Uh, for the uh, thief in the desert, I didn't pay too much attention. He called himself Wind. Uh, Li Mubai just wanted to be free of the rules from his order. To be with the woman he cared about. To have the freedom to make that choice. She wanted to be with him. Jade Fox. She wanted the freedom to learn the martial arts and the practices without uh, the male-female bias they had towards her. They all wanted freedom from the way of life they lived. The object of desire in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was always freedom. And I'm watching it again because I need to. From time to time, 
I understand that, well, I understand myself enough to know I need to do a certain thing. And right now, it's watching this movie again. Till next time, fuck off. <laughs>